There are lots of different ty types of questions that you can use in forms, and I want to focus this video on the idea of data validation, so I'm only going to look at three types, the three types that have data validation options that you can do. Uh, the first example of a data validation option question is checkboxes. So here I have a checkboxes question with some options in there. If you go down to the bottom of the question, you see three vertical dots. If you click on those, you can see that you can select data validation. So when I go to data validation, I have the option to choose uh, select at least, select at most, select exactly. So if you are having a question and you want to say, uh, pick your two favorite Google apps, then I could go in and say, uh, select exactly two. And I can also add in a custom error uh, text. So I might say, please select two options. This is what will happen and what they'll see if they select more than two or less than two and try to move on with the form. Another example that has data validation is the short answer example. So again, we go to those vertical dots, we go to data validation. This time we have a lot more options. So you can choose to have a number, and if you have a number, you can do greater than, greater than, equal to, lots of, lots of different things. So you might say, um, you know, what is your age? And you would want to have a whole number there, right? You don't want someone to type in so many months or whatever. Um, you can also then select what that number is being compared to. And again, you can add in custom error, error text. So if I wanted something greater than five, I could say, please add a number greater than five, or whatever it is that I wanted my user to see if they tried to put in something different. There are a lot of other uh, data validation options, so text. So this one's really nice. If you are asking people for their email addresses, you can have it uh, look for formatting in email address form, and again, custom error text, or even a URL. And uh, that one's kind of handy for when you're gathering information and want to get it all in the same format. The third type of question that has data validation is the paragraph, and that's a free response, and it's a little bit longer. So this time when we go to data validation, our options for text are minimum character amount or maximum character amount. So this would be fun if you were a teacher and you wanted someone to tweet something about what they learned that day. You could do 140 characters, um, and if they if they put something in that was too long, then oh, they couldn't tweet it. Uh, you also have uh, regular expressions, and that just looks for certain terms in the paragraph example. So if you were having some sort of vocabulary check or um, you know another thing where you were looking for a specific piece of information, you can make sure that it contains or doesn't contain uh, something that you're that you're looking for. So these are the three types of questions that have data validation associated with them.